So I just got the news. Pee-pee's dead. My baby mom got fucked up and burned the apartment down because her caretaker wasn't there, right? And all of my nightmares while I was withdrawing and all of my nightmares from prison came true that she would either let him out the house and he would be alone and scared and die on the street or she'd burn the house down. The stupid bitch burnt the house down and killed my son. I'm not even crying yet. I just found out literally two minutes ago. I'm still in shock. I'm in shock that the only being to ever truly unconditionally love me has been taken from me. <laughs> you know, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. It better. It's like uh, every time. Every time I think the torture can't get more unbearable, it goes to another dimension. It goes to another dimension. So I'm, I'm gonna have to delete his videos. I can't. I don't know if I should keep them up in memory of him, or do I have to take him down because it's, it's too painful? That's what, that's what's happening. My mom knew the whole time. She just didn't want to tell me because she knew I would go berserk. Well, the whole time I was asking her, when I was locked up, I was asking her about him. But she said he's fine. He was dead. He's dead. 